My name's Derek Weisberg. I'm a sculptor. I live in Bushwick. This is my studio at Greenwich House Pottery. So I've been making stuff my whole life. I've always been an artist. I started making things in clay when I was about six. I started with a summer program. I went back the next summer to take the class again and the woman who was teaching the class, her name was Katrina Van Mail. she wasn't offering the class through the city so my parents kind of tracked her down and asked if she'd be willing to give me a, like, a class with a few other students and she agreed. And so every Friday after school, I would go to her house to make things in clay. When I was 18, I went to California College of Arts and Crafts. I was still pursuing ceramics. I was making stuff that was much more um, like based in or around hip hop. So I was making these kind of like very stylized character figures of like b-boys or break dancers or graffiti artists or sculptures of MCs. Um, so the work was really commentary on the culture of hip hop. At a certain point, uh, certain things in my life were changing and I decided that I didn't want to make work about hip hop, but I wanted to use the kind of aesthetic, kind of energy of hip hop, that kind of like style of hip hop to comment on my life and bigger pictures and bigger ideas. So because I grew up listening to hip hop and paying attention to DJing and break dancing and graffiti being the, the primary visual language of hip hop, um, I think the idea of graffiti and its accessibility really crossed into my work. So the idea that graffiti is on the street, accessible for anybody, everybody, whether you want it or not, you know, you don't have to be either elite or educated or, you know, high society or whatever. You don't have to have a special degree to experience graffiti. So I love that idea of accessibility. And that plays a big part in my work. I want my work to be accessible to all audiences. So it, it may be cliche, but I really believe my work is inspired by life, every aspect of it. It's a way for me to process my life, to figure out questions that are going on in my life, figure out what's happening in the world around me. So the stylization of my figures express ideas of human condition and human psyche. So I exaggerate the features in the face, for example, to further express these ideas. So for example, the idea of um, the eyes that are set on the sides of the head refer to the idea that animals who have eye eyes set on the side of their head are more prey like animals. And animals that have eyes set in the front of their face are considered predatorial. So when I depict these figures with eyes that are wide set, it shows that kind of vulnerability. It's a, it's a physical man manifestation of that kind of dysfunction. I want my work to relate to six-year-olds and 67-year-olds, whatever, you know, like, um, I believe that art is, and, and especially objects, right, I'm making objects, they are, they're the artifacts, art as artifact, as an object of culture, of the time you live in, and should be accessible to everybody. I don't want it to be for the super educated. I don't want it to be for the super elite. I think that's bullshit. Like, art should be for people.